have you just taken plan B or Postino or Levonel or one of the other emergency contraceptive pills? And are you wondering what will happen to your next period? In that case, I will explain exactly what can happen and what you should expect. This video will tell you when to expect your next period after taking the emergency contraceptive pill. Hello, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner with Ask Away Health and a health educator. On this channel, I share health information videos that teach you all about your body and help you live well. Please take a few seconds to like this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if this is the kind of information that you love to hear. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you know every time we publish a new video once a week. One of the most common questions after you've taken the emergency contraceptive pill is when should I expect my next period? Although, of course, the only other more common question is how can I tell if the pill has worked? And if you're interested in the answer to that question, make sure you check out my video here. And don't forget to have a look at the rest of all my contraception videos in this playlist. And I will share the links to both in the description box below. But today we're looking at how the emergency birth control pill affects your period. The most popular options for the modern emergency birth control pills are the ones that contain the human-made or synthetic progesterone levonorgestrel. And this you can find in pills like Take Action, Plan B, iPill, Postinol, Postinol 2, Levonel and so on. Essentially, these are pills that you can take as soon as possible after unprotected sexual intercourse to prevent an unplanned pregnancy. If you take them within 72 hours of having unprotected sexual intercourse, you can reduce your risk of falling pregnant. This reduction can be as much as 95% if you take the pill on the first day. The pill's effectiveness reduces to 88% if you wait for the next day, although that is still better than doing nothing at all. How how do these pills work? Primarily by delaying ovulation, that is the release of an egg from the ovary. Therefore, they are most effective if you take them in the first part of your menstrual cycle, that is before ovulation. However, please don't let this stop you from taking the pill anytime in your cycle after you've had unprotected sexual intercourse because taking it is better than doing nothing. You know I said that the primary way it works is by delaying ovulation. Well, some studies suggest that to a very little extent, they may be able to prevent implantation or prevent the sperm from moving ahead to fertilize the egg if ovulation has already happened. So there may be a tiny chance if you need to use the pill um, after unprotected sexual intercourse at any time of your menstrual cycle, please take it. The other emergency birth control pill that we have is known as Ella or Ella 1, which also contains a human made progesterone type known as Ulipristal acetate that is more effective in preventing unplanned pregnancy than levonorgestrel. Ella also delays ovulation, but in this case, you have up to five days after unprotected sexual intercourse to get its full benefits. Please make sure you go and check out my video on Ella to learn more about this contraceptive method. So now let's look at how these pills can affect the period. But the first fact to establish is, what is your menstrual cycle? Many ladies use apps or diaries to monitor their menstrual cycles, and they are simply keeping track of the time between one menstrual blood flow or period to the next one and all the events that happen in between. So if you count from the first day of one period when you start bleeding all the way to the first day of the next period when you start bleeding, that is one menstrual cycle. You may have a 28 day menstrual cycle, which is the average length from one period to the next in most women. However, many women can have cycle lengths that are a little bit longer, for example, up to 35 days in between periods, or some can have cycle lengths that are shorter, for example, 21 days in between periods. For most women, your cycle will continue along that same monthly frequency unless you fall pregnant, use hormonal birth control, or have a medical condition that can affect your period. Fact number two, your cycle is often divided into two parts. For example, suppose you have a 28-day cycle. In that case, the first 14 days 
cover the time from when you have your first bleed in that cycle through to your fetal window and ovulation. Then the second half starts just after ovulation, continuing for another 14 days right up to when the period for the next cycle begins. Fortunately, when it comes to how these emergency birth control pills can affect our period, we do have some studies that give us some indication looking at timing, period duration, the flow, and experiencing bleeding that is not related to the period. So let's start by looking at timing. If you ask yourself, should I expect a period immediately after using the emergency birth control pill? Here's your answer. After using the pill, your period may come early or it may come around the usual scheduled time. According to some studies, if you take the pill early in the cycle, so that is before ovulation, it may mean that your period will come a little bit earlier than scheduled. On the other hand, taking it later in the cycle may mean that your period comes a little bit later than expected. However, it's really important to say that with all this research, the findings are not conclusive and not all women will experience these same changes to their periods after using the pill. Next, what about the effect of the emergency birth control pill on the duration of the period? After taking the pill, your next period may last longer than usual. And it is thought that this will be the case, especially if you take the pill after ovulation, that is in the later part of your cycle. But you may also experience absolutely no change to the duration of your bleed and it's the same as usual after taking the emergency birth control pill. What about the flow? Yes, the emergency birth control pill can affect how heavy or how light your period can be after you've taken it. Some women experience heavier flows or lighter flows, while some women in the studies report absolutely no changes to their bleeding flow. A study suggested that one out of every three women who took plan B found that their next period after taking the pill was heavier than usual. And what about non-period bleeding? This refers to any type of bleeding that is not as a result of your scheduled period or your period that is delayed or your period that is earlier but it's as a result of taking the pill. For example, within the first seven days or so after taking the emergency control pill, it is not unusual to experience bleeding that is unrelated to the period. We're not entirely sure why this type of bleeding happens. Still, it may be related to a side effect of the hormone progesterone. And ladies who use other forms of hormonal contraception like the depot shorts, the implant or mini pill also report a similar effect which is known as breakthrough bleeding. So these are some of the effects that have been gathered from studies on the impact of the emergency birth control pill on women's periods. Please don't forget that these effects are temporary. In most women, after taking the pill, things return to normal within the second cycle. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comment section as well. And if you have any unusual emergency contraception bleeding experiences, please share with me. I would really love to hear back from you. Next time, we're going to be talking about IUDs, intrauterine devices or coils, and how they can fall out of the womb. What does it feel like? like, what causes it, and which woman is more likely to experience this event. If you would like to know more about that subject, make sure you've subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell so that you know when our next videos go live. While you're waiting, make sure you check out these two videos and I'll see you again soon.